Aloha, it's Kiana, and here are today's top Hawaii headlines from the editors at the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Also, mahalo to Long Drugs Hawaii for sponsoring the show. Head on over to your neighborhood Long Drugs for all your shopping needs. The search for victims of the Lahaina wildfire continues as the official death toll ticks past 110. With more than 1,000 people still missing or unaccounted for, officials are bracing the public for an even more significant loss of life. More than 40 search teams with cadaver dogs are working in the level town today. The disaster zone is roughly five square miles and only about 40% of it has been searched. Meanwhile, on Oahu, one of the nine patients flown from Maui to Straw Medical Center's burn unit has died. 44-year-old Kirk Carter of Lahaina joins five other Maui fire victims who have been identified. They are 71-year-old Melva Benjamin, 90-year-old Virginia Dofa, 79-year-old Alfredo Galenado, 74-year-old Robert Dickman, and 79-year-old Buddy Jantok. Governor Josh Green has promised to protect local landowners from opportunistic buyers as Maui looks to rebuild. On Wednesday, Green said he directed the state attorney general to work toward a moratorium on land transactions in Lahaina. He acknowledged the move will likely face legal challenges, but said Hawaii will not allow locals to be victimized. Many residents struggled to afford life in Hawaii before the fire, and some in Lahaina fear the town will become more oriented toward wealthy visitors. According to a Forbes analysis, a typical starter home in Hawaii costs over $1 million, and the average renter pays 42% of their income for housing. That's the highest ratio in the country by a wide margin. Green promised to provide more details about the land sale moratorium by Friday. A private company will be hired to evaluate Hawaii's preparation and response to the Maui wildfires. State Attorney General Ann E. Lopez announced the decision to have a third party conduct the review of state and county agencies this morning. Lopez said the review will be impartial and independent. She added that relying on a third party will ensure accountability and reassure the public that all of the facts will be uncovered. Governor Josh Green said Wednesday that the review is not an official criminal or civil investigation. According to Lopez, the information collected in the review will be used to assess the state's level of emergency preparedness and make corrections for future incidents. The process will likely take months, and the AG's office did not provide a cost estimate for the review. The Honolulu District Courthouse is closed today due to a structural damage caused by a contractor. The judiciary announced the closure of Kaui Keoli Hale on Wednesday. A contractor inadvertently caused structural damage to the courthouse while working in the building Tuesday evening. The building at 1111 Alakea Street was closed as a precautionary measure. The judiciary said a structural assessment is ongoing. As a result of the closure, all Honolulu District Court cases in courtrooms 4B, 7A, 7B, 7D, 10A, 10B, 10C, and 10D will be rescheduled. Non-custody criminal arraignments scheduled in 7D will continue as planned. Family court cases scheduled in 8B, 8C, and 8D, and new custody matters will be heard at Ka'ahumanuhale on Punchbowl Street. In addition, the deadline for filing documents due on Thursday has been extended to Monday. The average long-term U.S. mortgage rate has climbed to its highest level in more than 20 years. Mortgage buyer Freddie Mac said the average rate on the benchmark 30-year home loan rose to 7.09% from 6.96% last week. A year ago, the rate averaged 5.13% and it was just 2.86% two years ago. This week's numbers represent the fourth consecutive weekly increase for the average rate and the highest since early April 2002, when it averaged 7.13%. The last time the average rate was above 7% was last November, when it stood at 7.08%. Meanwhile, the average rate on 15-year fixed-rate mortgages rose to 6.46% from 6.34% last week. It averaged at 4.55% a year ago. High rates can add hundreds of dollars a month in costs for borrowers. That limits how much people can afford in a market already unaffordable to many Americans. 
For more on these stories and all the latest headlines, subscribe to the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Visit Hawaii's top source for breaking news online at StarAdvertiser.com and download the Star Advertiser mobile app. Mahalo, have a great day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.